If you're one of those people in the world who celebrate Christmas, you know it's one of the most special times of the year, where we celebrate what we are thankful for, and family and friends gather together to celebrate the love that they have for each other. Christmas is about giving to those around us, and spreading joy and happiness into the world. But that's not the case for everyone. Every year there are countless people alone for the holidays, some of them for the first time, and some of them are alone more often than not. For myself, I experienced this for the first time last year. I had just moved to Vancouver in October, and I knew nobody. For the first time in my life, I was completely alone. And being alone during the time where everyone around you is spending time with their loved ones is one of the worst feelings you can ever have. So this year, I decided to do something different. My plan is to find 20 to 30 strangers who are all alone for the holidays this year. Maybe they are a recent immigrant who came to Canada alone. Or maybe they're a student and they can't afford to go home. Maybe they have a bad relationship with their family. Whatever the reason may be, I wanna give these people a home on Christmas this year. The thing is, I don't actually know the first thing about hosting events and where or how I would even find these people. Well, there's only one way to find out. First thing on the list, find the space. All right, so day one of the planning, uh, and the first thing to do is find a space. I work at a bar called Pearls, and we have an event space on the second level, and it's the perfect space. It's got a kitchen, it's got a full like dining area, it's got a bar and like seating area. So I'm actually gonna go over to my work right now and talk to my boss, Cass, and see if he'd say yes. All right, so we are here with my boss, Cass. So the goal for this Christmas is I want to bring together 20 to 30 strangers who are all alone on Christmas. And to do that, I need to find a space, but I also need to find funding. Um, in terms of funding, I don't think we'll be able to support on that side, unfortunately. I think it's a great cause. I think I love what you're doing. But that being said, I think the space is what we could offer. If that's, that's, if that's okay. Yeah, that would be amazing, honestly. We got the space. Next task, find the guests but where do you find 30 to 40 people who are all alone for Christmas? Step one, make a post on Facebook for my friends and family so they can reach out to their communities. Step two, make a post on Craigslist, Reddit, and different Vancouver groups on Facebook, especially the new to Vancouver page. Step three, call as many news stations and radio shows as I could and hopefully get some airtime. And now, it's just a waiting game to see if we get any responses. So, it is 6 a.m. and I got an email last night from CBC and they actually want me to come in this morning for an interview on the early edition. The crazy thing is I actually didn't get this interview from any of the phone calls I made. I actually got this interview from somebody that you guys know if you watch this channel. Oh, here we go. We got somebody coming in. Brad. Okay. Now today's nice list submission comes from Carrie Hunter, who has earned a, a spot on your nice list. And it's a person who was a stranger until he knocked on my door one summer morning. There was Brad and his friends. They offered to come into our home and cook us dinner. And now what Christmas dinner is next? Yeah, last year I was alone for Christmas and I know that there's so many other people in the world who are alone. So I want to create an environment for those people to come together and are, are celebrating Christmas together. Wow, that's so, cool. Yeah. Okay, so if you're having Christmas alone, how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, send me an email and we would love to have you. Just check Reddit and it's at 403 upvotes. In five hours. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And there's people who are like, is there any chance we can donate? Some people are actually like reaching out, they, they want to come. 400. And 33 now, dude! Yeah. <laughs> what the f Yeah, it's crazy. I am blown away right now. Some dude literally just sent me a hundred dollars. He found my email and he e-transferred me a hundred dollars to help like put this event together. I haven't even, I literally have not set up anything. I've really got to make this event, event something special. With the radio show working out and the Reddit post going viral, I was going to have more people coming than I originally anticipated. And there is no way that I could handle this on my own. So I called some of the people in my community to see if they'd be down to help out. I then spent the next week emailing the people who were interested in coming and started making a guest list so we could figure out how much of everything that we needed. The next thing is, how do I actually afford to host all these people? Well, with somebody donating me $100 already, I decided to put together a GoFundMe to reach out to my family and friends to see if they'd be willing to donate. And this month, I'm working on a new project that I need your help with. Next, I recently had been contacted by a grocery store called The August Market. So I went to meet with their owner, Gogan, to talk about it, and he was super interested in donating. After that, I took my boss's idea and contacted our beer and wine reps. Calling, uh, our... The number you have dialed is not in service. 
So we'll try Burling Owl now. You've reached the general inquiry voicemail for Appalachian One. Hi, the British Owl, Joe Sir. Hi, British Sonic and Phillips. I'm sorry that I missed your call. Fuck, I need to talk to somebody though. I don't want to leave messages. Hello, Paul speaking. Hey Paul, we're hosting a Christmas dinner for a bunch of strangers who are alone on Christmas. What we're looking for is to find some of the, like our beer reps who would be willing to donate uh, some beer for the event. Yeah, I can probably easily get you guys a flat of cans. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem, Brad. Thanks for calling. No way! We got our first one! Woo! <laughs> I've got about six more numbers that I need to call. So for the next hour or two, I'm really just going to make a lot of phone calls and see what happens. All right, so we got Quail's Gate to say yes. We have two beer, we have Central City and Phillips, and then we have Quail's Gate for the wine. I then called a local meat shop for the turkey. Good winter. So we're hosting a Christmas dinner this year for strangers who are alone on Christmas. How many people are you gonna feed? Around 40 to 50 right now. I got, I got some big turkeys here, like some 25 pounders, and then we could feed some people. That is super awesome of you guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you buddy, we'll see ya. Cheers, bye. Yeah! <laughs> we got a meat sponsor. Yes! <laughs> All right, so today is December 20th, which means we have four days left until the event. And today's goal is to go and pick up all the food from the August Market and the Windsor. And then I'm going to meet up with my bar manager, Jordan, and we're gonna go pick up 50 presents so everybody can open up a gift on Christmas. But then we have to wrap them all by tonight. So first step is off to the August Market. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for Brian. Hey, I'm Brian, Brian. Hey, Brad, nice to meet you. Oh, beauty. Thank you. Oh, you guys are amazing, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you as well. Here's the Windsor. Okay, man, so this one here is about 22 pounds, half a pound per person. Woo. That should get you there. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> uh, let's get you a ham as well. All right. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. Thank yeah. you so much. No problem, man. Well, right. Have a good thank day. You. Okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is so much turkey and ham. So much. Merry Christmas. <laughs> To all and to all a good night. <laughs> all right, so we are at the mall now. And our goal is to find as many $10 gifts as we can today. What do you got over there? Bath bombs. 10 bucks. Body scrub. Can we do ones that are silly, like a can of beans wrapped with like a $10 bill. So, like you don't know that you actually got You're the like, bill? sweet beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's Santa. Like this. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. You as well. Thank you. Merry Christmas. That was an amazing haul. We're all winners at winners. <laughs> no. Pizza, avocado, friends, and pineapple. No, we'll do pineapple and pizza together. If people oh, say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're finally done. Only three more days until the event. Do you want to give us a rundown on what's going on? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who's in charge? So we're preparing the, all the vegetables for roasting tomorrow. Stuffing. We're going to brine the turkey tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to cook everything. Sweet. Rock on. Do we have to do anything for the vegan meatloaf? No. It's right there. Where? It was right there. Oh, the Biami. The Biami? right over here. Oh, hey, where'd it go? Uh, hey! There, 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 yes. there, 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 there. Hey. I was like, it's right there, and then it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What we got? <laughs> okay, let's get to work. <laughs> Yo, Shingo. Look at this big fat turkey here. Oh, time for your close up. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is just like a marinade. Gosh. Yeah. Marinade. I mean, yeah. Wait, so you don't even have to mash it by hand? No. Oh, <laughs> This is how we make mash in like two minutes. There's mashed potato all over the place.
Nathan has got to go. You're going to see to my wife. He's got a, a kid coming. I got a bun in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a turkey in the oven tomorrow. All right, thanks for helping out, eh? Cheers. All right, we're going to finish up the rest of the prep, and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. So we missed the turkey being put in. So it looks like it's on life support. <laughs> <laughs> and Shingo has arrived. You ready for today? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm excited. Yeah? What are we doing here? This is the top secret cranberry sauce recipe. This is my grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the event space we have. This is the bar over here where Francis will be making all the drinks. And then in here is the actual event space that we're gonna be using. Our challenge now is to get all of the food prepped and cooked and all the decorations up before people start arriving at six. So we have a lot of work to do. It's time to get started. So now we have our first person, Sarah, Hi. who has arrived. And she's gonna help us do all the decorations. Okay. You know what? I hate that. Should I add the bows? No, I'm not gonna redo it. Bonjour! Hey! Yo! Yeah, that's a great sweater. Earl did it up right. This is exciting. How's it coming? We're gonna have to start again. <laughs> we burnt everything. We're gonna have to start again. All right. So it is 4:40. People are coming around 5:30. We've got a couple more people who are coming in to volunteer. Glenn, who's actually one of the guests who's coming to the hey. event, and he's helping clean up. Legend, the... Glenn. Nice to meet you. We only have about 50 minutes left, and then uh, the event starts. People start coming. How you feeling right now? I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> Star on. Oh yeah, that's awesome. We hey, got someone here. Let's go see. Oh. Bonjour. Oh, How's it going? Hi. Good. We got a lot of people coming down. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey. Hi, nice to meet you. We have a little bit behind. Of course. Hey, thanks so much for putting this on. Um, I was probably gonna eat McDonald's for the night. So. Really? Where's your parents at? On vacation in China. So. Oh what? That's cool. Sure. That is awesome. All right, and the space is finally done. I was actually a little bit worried that none of this would be done in time, but it's uh, way better than I thought it was. All this is put together by people who came in and worked as a team and helped it out. Like it feels so Christmassy in here. I was not expecting this much decoration going on. Really? Yeah, no. Went above and beyond. Look at the <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go check the kitchen now. It's like almost 6.30. Oh, baby. This is looking amazing. <laughs> Carving the turkey, this is the best part of Christmas right here. Oh, that's a hunk of meat right there. Hey! Right? <laughs> Francis. Oh, I want what am I just my hands? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. How much time? Thank you guys all for coming. Uh, it's a pretty crazy thing that you guys are all here right now. Uh, 
uh, last year I was alone on Christmas and all of us today are alone this year on Christmas and none of us should ever have to go through that. It doesn't have to be like family and friends. It could be strangers because now we're all friends. Everything that is happening here today is not me doing it. It's all come together from like the community of, of everyone around me. The space is donated by my boss. All the people have come together and put the, the decorations together. Sarah, Jordan, put up all these decorations with other people. The food was all donated. There's a team of cooks in there. Like they've been here last night. We were here for like four hours doing all the prep. Wow. Um, Enrique was one of them. And none of them wanted anything in return. They all just generously, out of the kindness of their hearts, put this together for all of you guys. Thank you guys all for coming. And uh, Merry Christmas. I was so awkward. I'm not good at that stuff. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I almost teared up. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. 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 Oh, Christ
Maybe next year you just invite one or two strangers to your family Christmas dinner. And if we all do that, then we have a way bigger impact on the world. The new friends that I've made here and just how wonderful this event turned out, it really actually was uh, amazing. It was one of the best Christmas dinners I've had in, I'm gonna say decades. Really? I really loved it, yeah. I was not expecting this. Meeting so many strangers and bonding with them, it's yeah. like, already like exchanging contact with people. Like, Did you exchange contact with people? Oh yeah, we had yeah. one. Really? Yeah. Even connection, that's what you really need. Everybody coming here was just like, they all have one thing in common. No judgmental, no discrimination. Just Christmas dinner to have was full of strangers and to get to know each other. I will never forget this. And taking a line from one of my favorite Christmas movies, Christmas means something different to everybody. And now I know what it really means to me.